Yeah. Over here is the wizard's tower, you see, so this direction. We passed it a moment ago, but we wouldn't have seen it. This is Draenor, so everyone would come in here, bank their uh, logs, you know, like this. Yeah. And then do the bones, the ashes. I think you can actually, if we did that, we can bring it out as a note. Yeah, well, there you go, let's, let's, think. let's see what value we've just got here. All right, so let's go here. I think you can still value, you can price things up. Oh, there you go, guide price. 650k, there, there you go, it's 38 bucks per. Ashes, 28, so they've gone down in value. Ashes used to be worth about 80. So it's very clear what's happened here. People have been collecting them and selling them on. Um, yeah, but there's about a grand made there if you were to go and sell them. Um, so, you know, we're not going to do that though. We're going to deposit those. Um, Oh, hang on a moment. I need to check something again. I, I apologize. I, I could just skip the video back, but unfortunately I'm doing this in real time. Yeah, the ashes are now worth 10 less than the logs, but willow logs? Probably worth 8 pence. I'm going to see if I can find some. I want to pick them up so I can see what they cost. They were 8. So if you burnt the willow logs, which you'd get shitloads of, and then went with, uh, you know, uh, let's see if someone will give me something. Someone might trade me. If they're not buying, they might come over because they just get rid of them. They're not worth anything. They just they, a lot of them would just drop them on the floor. Can't not go do it now. No one's gonna play. Come on, you sad sacks. Aha, there you go. He's got some logs. There's about a billion here. There you go. He's just dropping them on the floor. <laughs> Feel a bit stupid now. This is what's called drop mining. So basically you just, you get them and then you just drop them. This guy's fire making. So again, you you could spend probably a couple hundred hours here, just this section of map. You'd, you'd go over, you'd do your logs, you'd come back, you'd light them on fire, you'd go back. Some people would spend days at a time just doing the logs, going back and forth. What we were going to do is deposit these, deposit these, bring them back out as a note so we can go and check the value of them all. Uh, value, value, there you go. Here we go. So, normal logs, 38 pence each. Willow logs are 11. 11, because there's so many of them. They've gone up in value in years. But uh, ashes, 28. So if you, were to, if you were to get all of your willows, burn them all, then collect all of the ash, you'd actually be more than doubling your money. You'd nearly be multiplying your money by three. So you could buy all of your willows, burn them all and be up in profit at the end. This is, this is an easy gig in my mind, but it just takes hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to do. Deposit all of these, we're not really interested in these. So there's not really anything for us here, so let's collect some ashes. <laughs> oh mate. Not interested. He tells you a story about how a magician or whatever came through and like blows a hole in the bank's wall. Ashes over a year. RuneScape was one of those things that you could really kind of get quite wealthy after a bit of time. You know, if you just spent a while, it, it was the definition of a grind. I mean, people say that GTA 5 is a grind. It really isn't that bad. Um, but uh, it, it's just a time sink. People would play this game and you'd realize it's a time sink, but it was the best that the internet had to offer, really, that was free at the same time. You forget that this game is free to play, and there's a huge amount of stuff that you can do for free. Thousands of hours. A friend of mine, he did. He was one of those chaps where he didn't have any money. I mean, we were in school, you know. And 
his mum wouldn't buy in members because it was of the belief that like you know uh, why would you do members why would you get the membership when there's plenty of the game that you could get for free that you've not yet done so do that and he did he did that for years he did almost everything that there was to do as a free to play person and and then by the time he was ready look at this guy this guy's going to get wrecked oh he's gonna die look at it he's got to run they put the, these guys in as a deterrent i think these it never used to be there and they're just doing their thing oh they're switching worlds going to a quieter place Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> yeah, he did everything there was to do. All the membership does is open up a good bit of the world. And there's more of the world available to you if you do membership. Um, but on top of that, there were skills. So you can do the attack. You can do health, of course. Uh, smithing, mining. But again, you can only do mining up to a certain point because... As you can see, you can get Runit, which is expensive, but there's a lot that you can't get. So you can't get like, you know, pure essence, which is like rune essence, uh, but it's better and it's more valuable and all the rest of it. That's another one. That's part of the rune crafting thing. You'd go through and you'd do that. You'd get hundreds of these. You'd fill out a thing in minutes with pure essence. And uh, there was a running route that you could do, and it would take you about five minutes to fill, up them, up, fill them up, and they're worth like 200 each. Um, gem rocks again with the tin and iron and all the rest of it you'd just be there going away and you'd get a gem uh, you know and then everything on, onwards from rune there's not even that much more than rune but there's just better spots to do it in and the equipment's a little bit more you know you get some better XP using things or you get more uh, you know and the same with fishing. Fishing was a big one. There was a massive fishing guild. Um, there's a lot of fishing that is only members. You know, mackerel, oysters, uh, caskets, cod, eels, frog spawn, rainbow fish, cave eel, lobsters are free. They were a good way of doing fishing. Uh, members of bass. Swordfish was free, Christ. Love real monkfish. I spent ages once there. This I remember catching some monkfish. Sharks. You know, all of these have to be caught in different areas. You see, and there's different spots to do them, and you don't want to be chucking them on the floor because if you're starting to catch shark, they're quite expensive. Um, and because a lot of people would buy shark, and and cook them. They'd buy them raw. So the cost of them raw was actually more expensive than the cost of them cooked. Because a lot of people would buy them to cook them and, and also people just bought the cooked ones, but very few people actually fished them. So the, the raw one was way more expensive. Attacked pretty interesting. Um, yeah, here we go. Uh, again, the same myth, adamant, rune, 10, you know, 20, 30, 40. And then around 60, it starts to get interesting. Uh, dragon. Dragon was like uh, our members only. It was a step above rune. As you can see, it's 60. So rune's 40. And that was sort of the cap. And for a long time, 60 was the cap as well. But I think around 75 or something, you got what was known as the abseil whip. It was 70. The abseil whip. That thing was worth 1.5 mil. No, they weren't, actually. They were worth 20 mil, if I remember. And I came back to RuneScape later on to discover that they were uh, 1 mil. Uh, was it the other way around? One way or another, it was shit expensive. But they used to be like the cover, and then in the new RuneScape, they just weren't in any way shape or form so where are we where are we going here we're gonna we've explored a little bit of the map not a huge amount 
Um, I guess I'm going to have to decide what I'm going to do here at some point, whether I'm going to fish or woodcut. I'm not going to do anything else. I might see if we could, we could see if we could. I might try something interesting. I'll give it a go on my own, and then I'll see if anything happens after. If I decide to do some more, I might go to um, the Grand Exchange, which is where the hell is Varrock? Can't be Varrock. Better it is, you know. It is. This is Var This is the main town. This is where everyone hung out. This is the Grand Exchange. And as you can see, it's quite a large area situated right near the wilderness. And it's in reach of almost everything. There's uh, cooking down here, uh, the Cook's Guild, uh, which is exclusive to get into. You've got smithing equipment here, rune, uh, the stuff that you'd get, the rune essence stuff that I was talking about is down here. Uh, this is, what's his name's shop, and he'd let you in, he'd take you into a mine that's below it. Uh, people would attack guards at the palace uh, there's a guy in the palace obviously a king uh, several quests to do yeah everything's here everything's in this this one little area and then you got the barbarian village which is like a mining spot and also people would attack barbarians but they'd also do fishing it's all in situated in one area but the biggest thing is there would just be lines of uh, from about there to there of logs on fire and hundreds of people trying to sell stuff I'm, I'm gonna go there in a moment because I just can't wait I need to go and have a look at that damn thing it's 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 memories and if, you, if you really want to get your walk on you can always go on up across further to Falador which is um, down here there you go just to the west there's no way can you get there from there I don't remember that ever being the case. Do you know? I played this game for the best part of six or seven years. Never once have I gone to Falador from here. We started off there. And I would always go over here, walk up here, and then go into Varok that way and then go this way if I ever wanted to go to Falador I could have just gone oh shit in that case let's go and have a look shall we see if we can find it may as well I got time I don't ever remember that being the case I just I guess I suck Does it still carry on? Carry on left. Yeah, we're in the wrong area. He's doing the damn chicken thing, look. He's not even bothered bothering to attack it, he's just set it up and off he goes. <laughs> oh yeah, there's different music that plays all the way throughout different areas, so many different music tracks. Here we go, we've actually, we've come to Falador already. My fucking god. Look at that, we're already here. There's, a brand, there's all sorts going on here, so away. Oh, I don't know what this lot are doing. So here is um, a teleport to a rune crafting location. It's a bit like sort of Stonehenge, for example. And here is the bank. Uh, Falador East Bank and this is Falador West so everyone would go in, bank there, get their rune essence, which they'd either mine you can mine all of this stuff or you can buy it uh, which is nice, you don't have to buy everything you can just go and be like, okay I'm going to mine my material over here and then I'm going to go over there and I'm going to do this and I'm going to turn this into that and then event, you know, it's all sort of it all works together, it's really lovely so they'd go here and then they'd come down here do their thing get their stuff, run back come back again and do that again. It's proper intense. Uh, let's have a look. So we'll see them. I'll, I'll show you. It's down here. They're all running doing the same thing. They're all doing exactly the same thing. Probably a bit further down than I remember. There it is. Over here. Yeah. 
mysterious ruins. So basically, people would come in here and it would teleport them somewhere and they'd spend about five seconds there making whatever they're making and then they'd go off and go back again. Here it is, someone comes, I think. Yeah, he's just come back. So he's now going to go on over to the bank, very slowly it appears. Surely. It's easy to tell a bot when you see one. Why is he doing that? If they're walking, chances are they've like botted across. Like that chap's stuck. There's probably a bot somewhere. And basically, the way bots work is you just script your computer mouse to like click on certain areas, and you teach it to recognise the colours, and it would just do it all for you. Um, but they were able to tell if you were running an engine that was doing it. So we want to go. I'm go up. I'm going to go right the way through Falador and then go east over the Varrock. So we want to go north. See, look, he's still here, look. He's just, it, it's a bot. He's got a thing that's like clicking it. It's very unlikely that he's sat there doing it and messing about himself. Mm -hmm. Imps, part of a mission. Combat area. That sign actually means that it's a combat area, which means if you attack something, they're going to fuck you up. And if you, uh, there's a situation where here, usually you keep a, a certain number of items, you usually keep like three items on you, the three most valuable when you die. Everything else is gone. So if you die and you've got a lot of stuff, it's for the taking. It takes a few moments for it to become visible. So if I died and dropped everything, it would take a minute or two for it to show up. Um, but when it does, it's 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 fair game for everyone to go and get what they want. That's why player versus player is so fun, which is what everyone did in 2007. And then they got rid of it. For no reason at all. There were enormous protests in the game by hundreds of players on many, many servers. Um... They got rid of it for some reason. You, you They changed it. It used to be if you'd go out you'd be able to attack. Now you wouldn't be able to just kill anyone willy-nilly. There were some rules in place, like you'd have to be a certain, like the, the, the wilderness has certain layers to it. Level, so if you, if you were level one out, I think generally speaking the rule was you could only, uh, you were only permitted to attack people that were one level between you. Um, or that may have even been how it was changed after. Um, Maybe before it was just anyone in the wilderness you could go and mess up. They made it more friendly to people that were not interested in being griefed. Because there was, there was stuff you would do out there, missions and monsters and all the rest of it. Whereas people, all they were interested in were going out there and it was a huge economy. People used to make actual real money out of this game. Uh, the the right, Jagex didn't like that. But you know another one I was late for. I really wish I was around my age now when this game was at its most popular because I'd be making so much money. You'd bot your way to millions of pounds. This is the barbarian village we were talking about. It didn't take us too long to get in. This is where people come to mine certain things and they also come to attack barbarian women. Down here they would fish. Oh yes, look. Trout and salmon. They're just dropping it. Oh my good lord. That's a lot of... Whoa! Hang on, there's a bunch of people over there. Oh, dear me. Right, uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, don't want to ignore that forever. Right, here we go. We're coming near to the Grand Exchange now, which is up. Up to the east slightly. So we we'll go this way. Ah, so happy playing this game. Whenever I play this, I just oh, this music in particular. I remember this on Christmas Day. Do 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 do
And then as you get closer to all the bank tellers, uh, you can hear all the, the, the you know the the rustling of coins and stuff as they're partaking in transactions. Here we go. Welcome to Chaos Personified. Forget the London tube, forget the Chinese railways. This is madness. This is just chaos. Look at all of these people here. This game is, is still alive and kicking. They're all here. They're all trading. They're all doing their own thing. They're all talking about whatever they want to talk about and enjoying themselves. It's just crazy. It's so fun. Scamming people trade me. <laughs> This was host of so many scams. Honestly, people would just say, "Hey, I need this, and I can't get hold of it on the wherever." I, I you know. It's so cool. So someone's selling ten trouts. Uh, can I? Do I need to? I probably need to talk to someone. Oh no, I can... Ah, good, thank God for that. They used to make it so that you had to uh, talk to some bloke before you could do anything. So if I go to sell all 560, can I sell them? Yeah, there you go. Boom. 560. Let's go to the bank, because there's a bank dude here. Uh, note, all of me logs. So all of it. All of it. Uh, what else do we want? Air rune's probably worth a little bit. I'm just going to sell all of it, why not? Why wouldn't you? Get me money out as well. See what we've made over this, this this glorious period of time. Exchange. Sell. Willow logs are worth next to nothing. I cannot sell that item until your account is older. Plenty of room escape. Yeah, I can sell wooden logs, but I can't sell willows for some reason. No one wants to buy standard logs, it seems. What about ashes? There you go, some ashes. There you go, there's more, more money. Excellent. Sell, what about my air rooms? I literally got given those. For Again, these are things that are exploitable. You can sit and bolt them or sit there and do them for hours and hours and hours. You've probably got to be about a week old or something before you can sell this nonsense. Pie. Sexy, there's no one's going to buy that. Someone is going to buy that, apparently. Someone has use for it. We just made best part of a grand. Maybe I can trade sell with the logs. No one's going to buy them, but... Someone might buy them. No one's going to really buy them. The, the, we're opening ourselves up here for someone to click trade on me, and then, like, just joke around. <gasps> Where's it gone? Come here, you, you, you. Someone has a party hat on their head. Here it is. Look at this. Party hats. They have party hats. They are a drop party. Oh my god, this is, this is, oh, this is excellent. This is the best news I've seen all day. Follow this woman. What's her name? Drop party surprise, motherfucker. Where is it? We, this is this is this is RuneScape gold. This is uh, where's she gone, man? Where are they gone? Where's the where's the drop party going? Where are they off to? Uh, these two are following each other. Where the hell's the drop party? Oh my god! Are these this lot after it? Uh, probably not. Uh, Christ! Basically. The situation has arisen where they're probably quitting the game. Here they are, follow. There you go. Probably quitting the game. So what they're going to do is go ahead and drop everything. Now this could either be gold or it could be nonsense. Chances are it will be nonsense, but we're doing a let's play, so let's have some fun. So she's going to run around, drop a bunch of... He, sorry, there's no confirmation that it is a woman. And I'm not saying that to be LGBTQQIAAP friendly. I'm just saying that people would... 
be male and create female accounts. So she's going to go and drop a bunch of stuff and it's our job to pick it up. And again, it's really fun because there's like a load of us here and uh, it'll show up in a moment and we'll probably get something. We might get something. I reckon she's dropped something right under me. So we've got to pay attention. Oh, my log sold. Excellent. I think more tents. I can't remember how long it takes for it all to show up. One click. So what you need is one good place to click. And then you're gold. Bugger off. <laughs> Come on. This is where we all sit here forever and there's nothing. Oh, it's a trout. Oh my god, I got a trout. Oh my god, I got a trout. Oh, I didn't even get that. Oh, where the hell's mine? Trout, trout. I bet there's like one decent thing in it. Ah, come on. Don't be shit. Yes. Ah. Anyway, let's go collect me log money. That was a waste of bloody time, wasn't it? <sighs> oh well, you know, you live and learn. Oh, this dude's selling some trout. Mate, why are you selling trout for? There's a scumbag over there giving it away for free. <laughs> Oh, nice. There we go. We made our first K. Nice. There you go. Let's put it all in here. Well, there we go, gentlemen. That, that thus concludes my first recording session for this, I think, because I'm getting a bit tired. And I've got a weird habit of being able to wake up at 6 a.m. And I want to make the most of that by going to bed sort of early. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Well, I, I'm probably going to maybe do a little bit more. I, I I don't want to set off too many series in one go. What have we got? We've got GTA 4. Pure Pool will come to an end at some point. There's only so long I can play that for. Uh, RuneScape. Well, I have another channel i got to focus on uh, this year. And if I'm honest... My time to be able to record this is fairly limited. It's not you know overly limited but I can't sacrifice the other channel in, in you know, place of this but you know have a good 